Hi everyone, hope you have been well. It's been such a long time. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make this adorable cube rabbit. You can find instructions and links to all the video tutorials in the description down below. Let's get started. First, you will need two different color yarns. I chose white and pink for mine. You will also need a little bit of black yarn for the mouth later on. The recommended yarn tension was 7mm and I use 5mm hooks to make sure the stitches are nice and tight. You only need one hook by the way. Then you also need scissor, a large sewing needle, a stitch counter if you have one, and some stitch markers, two black eyes, or you can use the black thread to make the eyes, and don't forget the stuffing too. Grab the white yarn and let's start by making the top half of the body. For the tutorials, check out the link to video 1. I've been wanting to learn how to crochet for a very long time now. This rabbit is my first ever project. I know I'm being pretty ambitious as I want to design something myself. I came up with the design but not the pattern. Well, I would be hopeless if I need to make my own pattern when I'm pretty much a newbie. So what I did was I started imagining what the rabbit would look like and I go from there. In my mind, I want to make something small, cute, cubic in shape with long floppy ears. Why floppy ears you ask? Because they're so cute. After I got some pretty solid ideas in my head, I started researching for YouTube video tutorials to make my vision come to life. I would like to thank all these artists who make their videos available for free. I use all the video tutorials from these amazing artists and they are easy to follow. The stitch markers are really useful. If you don't have one, I would recommend using a normal pin just so you know where the stitches are. The original pattern teaches you how to make a full cube, but I only wanted to make the top half of it. I want to make the legs separately so they are actually um, a little bit offset from the body to give it a bit of depth. So instead of closing the cube, I stop once I finish all the five sides. Next, let's make the bottom of the cube. You can check the video number two for the tutorial for this part. Don't forget to check the size of this part with your cube to make sure the size fits correctly. Once you're happy with the size, cut off the yarn. Let's attach one side of the cube. Leave the other three sides. Leave some room so it's easier to attach the other parts later on. The ears are next. So I start with the pink ears first. To be honest, I don't know why I choose this yarn. The yarn I chose has multiple different weights in the one ball, so it gets quite difficult to maneuver at times. At the end of the day, it's all about having fun. And I had a lot of fun. Once I finish with the pink ears, I move on to the white one next. With the ears, I remove one of the middle rows as the ears was getting a bit too big. Let's start attaching the ears now to the top of the head. 
and the ears will go on the edge of either side of the head. She is taking shape now. Next I put the eyes in. Let's decorate the face now. I always like adding pink cheeks as they make the dolls look adorable. Once done, I make the ribbon next. With the ribbon, I only need to do 4 stitches as it will be too big otherwise. Once I finish, I attach it to the left ear. The idea is to have a ribbon to balance in the opposite colored ear. So if your pink ears are on the left, then the ribbon will be on the right. Last but not least, let's make the cute tail. Again, I adjusted the size and make only four stitches for this one. We are so close. Let's attach the tail now. Once finished, let's add some stuffings to the doll before we closed it. I'm using the white yarn from the tail to close off the remaining bottom part. And she is done. It actually took me 13 hours to make it. And my fingers gotten pretty sore by the end. If you guys make her, tell me how long it takes for you to do it. I think you will beat me for sure. Thank you so much for staying until the end. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe as that will mean the world to me. Until next time my loves.